I've played some bad Super Nintendo games, you guys. Some really bad Super Nintendo games. And maybe you haven't seen them. I've seen them. Games like Barbie Supermodel. Congratulations, Barbie. You're at the top of this class. And Dragon's Lair. Broken and unplayable is no way to go through life, son. Or how about Road Riot Four-Wheel Drive? Actually, there, there's no record that this game was ever even completed. And I wish they hadn't been. None of them. The whole lot. These are some wretched Super Nintendo games. But then there's this. Super Play Action Football. Zero point zero. So you start this thing up, and this asshole immediately throws a ball at you. One, because he's an asshole. Two, because Nintendo had a secret contract, where if you published a game for the Super Nintendo that didn't utilize Mode 7 technology, your entire family was literally burned at the stake. Anyway, it turns out that it's also an omen, because this game throws lots of crap at you. You start it up, and you're asked a series of questions. Not unlike a detective as someone who he's about to throw in jail for life. Once you've answered them, the game finally starts, and then we get our first glimpse of these people. These are what you might call eyewitnesses. Anyway, once the Miranda rights are out of the way, you actually get to play this fucking game, and then you, you immediately regret doing so. You know what they say about first impressions? Well, Super Play Action Football thinks that's all bullshit, because for its first impression, it gives you this wonderful vantage point. Hey, look at this! So it's like the camera is a GoPro attached to a dead guy's forehead. It's at this slanted angle. It's just... I mean, I have no idea who thought this was a good idea. And in fact, I refuse to believe anyone did. Like, th this had to be a joke. Or some kind of sick social experiment. Hey, let's make a football game where the camera's knocked over and then we'll see if anyone notices. What I want to know is what that data was used for. So, it's basically the software version of a cramped neck. Boy, that's great. Hey, how are the game mechanics? Oh, well, they're like the software version of John Madden. They don't make any sense and they stumble around like a penguin. So while you're struggling with this horrible viewpoint that makes it impossible to see anything, you also have to deal with horrible mechanics that make it impossible to do anything. Want to throw a pass? Oh, to which guy you can't see. Actually, you know what? Doesn't even matter. Because nine times out of ten, you're just going to be picked off anyway you can't see your receivers, or control which one you're going to throw to. Then at halftime, the referee kills a man. And then your teammates weep. And the eyewitnesses... Eyewitness. Hey, speaking of witnesses, your only view downfield is this dot matrix in the corner. So much for witnessing anything. Conveniently covers up half the field that you can see. So this whole thing's like football braille. The only cool thing is that there's a high school mode. And all that really means is that you get to make up the team names. The only touchdown I ever scored in this damn game was with CGR High. Didn't even matter though, because then Douchebag HS just, they just douchebagged it up afterward. I'm sorry, like, I'm anti, I don't agree with bullying, but these fing kids deserve a swirly. Ready, set! This is the slowest, dumbest, least enjoyable football game I've played this week. And I'm willing to bet it'd be the worst any week. This game sucks. These people suck. They're clearly bad people, and then them, they'll probably screw you in court. This game has controls like Ray Rice's moral compass. They're at the very least suspect, and probably indicative of a very bad person. Which, I mean, these are all very bad people. It's super play-action football for the Super NES, and it's a bad game. Thanks to our dear, dear, close personal friend Daniel from Palm Coast, Florida, for sending us this awkward-looking, strange-sounding, piece of bad intentions. This game sucks. Ready, set!